Good afternoon. I, uh, I am delighted to be here in the great city of Lawrence with my good friend Mayor Antigua. My good friend Mayor Antigua in the great city of Lawrence and I know, I know he is not going to be angry about what I'm about to say. I know it because you know what, this is a guy that can take a joke. I just don't think Damon can take a joke, but Lantigua, he can take a joke. <laughs> I have brought with me from the city of Methuen the top 10 items on Mayor William Lantigua's things to do list. So let me get started. Number 10, and this is something that he considers a priority. He's going to order the community voting program to build him a vessel called the receivership. Uh, Number nine, he would like to replace my friend, City Councilor Grizel Silva, with Charo. <laughs> Is Grizel here? I, I love Grizel. I, I shouldn't have let Tommy Duggan write that joke. <laughs> Number eight, use fired employees vacation and sick time pay to get Patrick Blanchett a gym membership. Wow. I'm sorry, Patrick. Number seven, replace a sculpture of the bald eagle on top of City Hall with a sculpture of his own head. Number six, keep firing people as part of Lawrence's economic stimulus for lawyers program. Number five, now I was told not to say this one, but I'm saying it anyway. We're going to replace all the wood in City Hall with Spanish cedar. <laughs> Number four, finish writing his new book, How to Win Friends and Influence People at the Eagle Tribune Publishing Company. Number three, get Bill Manzi to retire so that he can become the worst mayor in Massachusetts. I know Mike Sullivan is laughing about that, but I don't know why, because since his retirement, he was named the worst mayor emeritus. <laughs> Number two, finish reading Governor Deval Patrick's new book, Decorating Your Office on a Budget. item of Mayor William Lantigua's to-do list, make an appointment at the Lawrence General to have Lenny Dagan's head surgically removed from his ass. 